us from the um, the pulpit earlier on. <laughs> um, what is our responsibility as South Africans internationally? Well, I also spoke because I was wearing many hats. I spoke as the honorary consul for New Zealand in Cape Town. And what I was saying is that there are for countless Kiwis, their identity is tied to South Africa because at the time of the uh, Springbok Tour in 1983, New Zealand became the largest anti-apartheid movement in the world outside South Africa. So there's another nation in the world that is grieving with us, but also who continue to be inspired by the example of Nelson Mandela. So uh, Nelson Mandela belonged to the whole human family, but I also spoke uh, uh, of how uh, he became a very good friend of President Bill Clinton of the United States, but he remained extremely firm friends with Fidel Castro. Uh, and I was making the point that there's a big United States delegation here and I'm hoping um, that they will go back to the United States and free the five Cuban prisoners to imprison the United States. And one of them includes a dear friend of mine, Gerardo Hernandez, who in his prison cell in the United States has a photograph of Nelson Mandela. So uh, we hope the US, like other places in the world, that have political prisoners will free them. But also we saw that wonderful moment when uh, President Obama shook hands with President Raul Castro. So there was Mediba. He's already died, but he was reconciling old foes. Uh, and I talked about how on the day of the inauguration, there on the prison, uh, there on the uh, platform with the great leaders was his prison guard. So he showed us from the very beginning that old enemies can become friends. And that's his example to us as South Africans, but it's the example to uh, the whole of humanity. But I also talked about how the, the, the piece of legislation that characterized his first government was the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, because he recognized we were a wounded nation and we needed to attend to our wounds, we needed them to be acknowledged. And that's what partly inspired me to start an institute for healing of memories, to create safe and sacred spaces where people could deal with what they have inside them because of the nation's journey. So the struggle to uh, heal South Africa, to free South Africa, is now passed on. It's now our turn for all of us to be Nelson Mandela's. Thank you so much for your time, Father Lapsley. There you have it, Father Lapsley, who is speaking to us about um, reconciling with old enemies, um, obviously referring to what happens here in South Africa, in your very own homes, but also on an international scale, and also calling for the release of all political prisoners around the globe. Joe Berg.